This is Anne Randolph. She's a genius. And Mel Brooks said she's a genius. I say she's a genius too. I agree with Mel. And her, uh, Mel Brooks, the Mel Brooks and the late Anne Bancroft produced her off-Broadway show. So she's telling us the story. The first thing I'm kind of like left in New York to find a theater, like go find a theater and that you think would be right for your show. And this is interesting about New York, if I have a lot of artists out there, to find the theater for a solo show in New York, very challenging because all the theaters are very long and narrow. And I find for solo show, you want this width where it's kind of more like a community. And I was like, ah, and right. the other thing, shows are backed up, meaning everybody's trying to get theaters in New York for off Broadway very hard to find one that is available at the time that you want one. Eventually found a theater and now Mel is financing uh, that we're going to open. But as the weeks go on and like a month goes on, I hear very little from this producer. And I wanna pick up the phone and call Mel and say, hey, this guy's not doing it. We can't go to a New York show and open eight shows a week without a machine behind us. Right but I can't do it because I've now found out that Anne is dying. So it was this horrible. So I'm getting the dream at the same time. This, this other thing's happening at the same time. Grace that is devastating. It's just like, Oh, the heartbreak of, you know, I'm coming towards an opening and I know there are a lot of artists out there and the machine is not behind you to support you. So show opens and, uh, Next day I run to the New York Times and I get this amazing review in the New York Times. It's great. And Mel sees what's happening now. And he picks up the ball and he starts taking out like a quarter page ad in the New York Times for $20,000. But like some writing strategies that you have when you write your solo show. Well, what is your creative process? Uh, creative process. Well, always I go for where I am in a contradiction with myself where there's inner conflict where i'm at war so i want to mine where i'm at war and then i go for it like if i'm you know i always really like meditate or masturbate right those two could be seen as at war but they shouldn't be because they're both about self-love but right. i think it's where i'm hung up on something within my life that is not working and i want to really investigate and oh. mind it and so that's where I will begin, where where there's where I'm rubbing up against something. And a good writing prompt for, for that is uh, what I really want to say is dot, dot, dot. You know, what's on my mind right this very minute?